Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at one of my favorite time savers for teachers. And this is getting the web browser to open up the tabs that you use every day at the start of the day especially. I always had to get my email open and I had to get the gradebook open. So I'm gonna show you how I can do that. If you watch here, I'm gonna open up the Edge browser down here at the bottom of my screen. What I'm gonna show you today will work in Edge, which is this browser, and Chrome, which is this one. It will not work in Internet Explorer because we have settings uh, set up by admin that restrict us from being able to change that. So watch what happens when I open up the Edge browser. You notice up here at the very top, I've got three tabs that opened automatically. I automatically was opened up and logged into my Office 365. I have a tab here to be able to go to the straight to the login page for Skyward for my gradebook. And then I have the lesson plan tab uh, open as well. So with one click of the uh, internet or the Edge browser, I was able to get all of those tabs open and actually be logged straight in to my email or my Office 365. So how did we accomplish that? Well, we're gonna go up here in the upper right hand corner when I click the dot, dot, dot menu and go to settings. Under settings, this area right here says normally, by default, it says open with the start page. Now what I did is I changed it here to open with a specific page or pages. And then I had to change this instead of being the MSN or Bing browser to the custom option. And once I had the custom option, I was able to add these three sites in. And so just to give you an idea, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these two. And what I would do is I would go back to our homepage. And here on our homepage, we have these links or these shortcuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Skyward link. And to do that, if I right click on it, and this is gonna look just a little bit different depending on the browser. Again, I'm in the Edge browser, but Chrome, this, this option is there also. And we'll look at that in just a second. All I want to do here is copy the link. After I copy the link, I'm going to go back up here into my settings. And where it says enter a web address, I'm going to paste that in. And then I click the plus button or add button right here. And now these two tabs are going to open. So that would be exactly what I would get if I do these two. So I'm just going to show you that. And now this time I'm only gonna open two. I've got the two that are listed, which is Skyward and my Office 365. And up here in the upper right-hand corner, you see that it's logging me in automatically to my Office 365 because I have saved my password there. And it's got me logged in here to Skyward, or not logged into Skyward, it's got the Skyward tab open to the login page. So if you wanted to be able to save those in Chrome, you could do the same type of thing. And you notice that currently I have the same two tabs opening. I've got Skyward and my Office 365 email. To get there, same concept. I'm going to click the dot, dot, dot menu in the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to click on Settings. And in Chrome, my settings are right here on Startup. And I click on this radio button right here, and then I click on the link here to Set Pages. And you can see here that I can add and subtract pages in here. So I did the same thing. I just went back to our Start page. I right-clicked and copy the link. Now I'm gonna do that for the purpose of showing you how to do Edgephoria. And so now I'm back here on our homepage. I'm gonna right click on the Edgephoria link. And in Chrome, you can see that the option to copy the link address is right here. So I would click on that. I would come back up here to the settings tab. And I'm just gonna enter that URL right here by pasting it in. And I'm gonna say, okay. But you can see now when I start up Chrome, I should have Office 365. Again, I've got my password saved. I can't save the password for Skyward and uh, Edgephoria, but that's okay. I can still save myself some time by having those tabs open if I like. Now remember, you don't have to do this. This is just a suggestion to save a little bit of time as you're getting your computer going first thing in the morning. I'll click OK here. I'm going to close this browser. And now when I click on Chrome, I should have three tabs open. My Office 365, my Skyward, and my Edgephoria. And again, you can see Edgephoria is right there. It's got everything saved. Just won't log me in automatically. I'm gonna have to hit one button. Skyward attempts to save things. You can try that. You're just gonna have mixed results with that. And then my Office 365 is logged in just as I was hoping. Now, a little word of caution here. If you're gonna go ahead and try to do this, it's really important and it's best practice is not to save your passwords so that you're automatically logging in. If you are gonna save your password in the Office 365, 
you've really got to get in the habit then of, lo of locking your computer or signing out. And we'll look at how you can do that right now. So in the bottom left hand corner, I go ahead and click on the Windows button. I click on my name at the top of the menu and I click either lock or sign out. You really need to do that if you're gonna save a password or else you're setting yourself up for some problems with people getting into your accounts. So hopefully this comes in handy and look for more teacher tech tips in the future. Thank you.